Hello, 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 OMG, I'm so excited that you are back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Last week, I decluttered my bedroom and I did not get to my closet. So that is the project I am going to be working on today and then revealing my brand new painted bedroom. So excited. I am absolutely dreading doing this closet. I'm not even going to lie but we're gonna get it done. There we go, empty boxes. <laughs> if you've watched any of my decluttering videos, you know I have just a gazillion empty boxes all over my house. Not so much anymore, but not surprised that I found that. If you are new here and you just found the channel, I am so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for being here. I would love it if you said hello to me down in the comments and introduce yourself. I'm Jody Dunn and I like bringing you videos on this channel of different ways that I am transforming my life. And one of those ways is absolutely by decluttering my very cluttered house. I also have another YouTube channel where I teach people how to coupon and save so much money, which is incredible. But a little bit about me in case you are new here. I've been married for 26 years. We have three wonderful, smart, sassy, beautiful daughters. Grayson, my oldest daughter, is 24. Then we have Viviana who just turned 13 in December and Donna Jean is my youngest and she is 11. And this year on January 5th, I became a grandmother and I have to say it is the best thing in the whole wide world. I have a grandson. His name is Edward Daniel Jr. but we call him EJ. And I did not post a decluttering video last week because my oldest daughter, Grayson, EJ's mom, got married in Florida and it was so wonderful. So this is Grayson and her new husband, Edward. We had the best time at the wedding. And here's a picture of me, Viviana, Donna Jean, and EJ. Oh my gosh, isn't he so dang adorable? So I'm going through everything that I pulled off onto that first shelf and oh my gosh, I found this box. That's Grayson and Viviana Christmas photo. Oh, this box is filled with pictures, oh my goodness. That's me in the pink, light pink dress that was my senior prom. <laughs> I'm finding all kinds of fun pictures in here. That's me as a baby, OMG, the pictures kind of gotten a little distorted and destroyed over the years but oh wow I now have a place in my home for pictures so I will definitely be moving these out of the bedroom but uh, I spent so much time looking through all these pictures and a junior prom and this is not my husband in this picture i did not know him when i was in high school that's my mom and dad's wedding photo holy cow and this is my grandfather I'm finding so many awesome old pictures So now I'm just going through everything that I pulled up that was sitting on the closet floor and figuring out what I'm gonna do with them. Those are my shoes that I wore to Grayson's wedding. My dress had glitter all over it and so did my shoes. So I left a trail of glitter everywhere I went. Because this floor was covered with stuff, I haven't vacuumed it in forever. So it needs a good, nice vacuum in here. always when I post these videos, I hope that it helps in some way, maybe to motivate you to declutter a small portion of your house. Because as I always say, it's one drawer at a time. We are looking for progress, not perfection ever. But as I'm saying that, I realize what time of year it is. If you are super busy with the holidays right now, don't stress about that. Especially if you're cooking and preparing for company or things like that, 
you'll get to it after the holidays are over. I am not hosting Christmas this year, so I'm not stressing about that at all. And as I tell you in every single video, I don't do these big projects that I've been showing you in one time frame. I split them up over multiple days typically and fit them into the pockets of time that I have. So I'm just going through some clothes right now and trying to get some type of organization in my closet because I didn't have one before. So any of the pants I'm putting down on the shelf I cleared and the sweaters. And then of course, if I'm finding, like I just found a pair of jeans that had holes because uh, I got thighs and they rub together and I always get dang holes in my pants and the thighs. I don't know why I kept them, but I did. So I just threw them away. And then I am finding some things that I'm just not gonna wear ever and I am donating those. So I am dedicating this bottom shelf here to my jeans and any cardigans or sweaters. And then the top shelf, I'm putting like more of my dressy shirts and things like that. Do you remember from my bedroom, bedroom declutter and when my husband was so confused about the way I was now folding my clothes in my dresser and he had set them on the bed? Well, now he's trying to fold my clothes the way I'm folding them, except for he's not. He's just rolling them in a ball. <laughs> so hilarious and so sweet that he is trying to fold them the way I am doing it. So now I'm just going to switch that up because he had this one over on like the top because he couldn't fit it in the other uh, section of my drawer. But all three of these will fit if I fold them the way I had folded them previously. When I decluttered my dresser, um, I created a whole empty drawer. So I'm gonna take some of these t-shirts out because I'm not, well, I do wear t-shirts almost every day still and just a sweatshirt over them even though it's winter here in Michigan. Um, but I'm gonna take these out and put these in the empty drawer and get them out of my closet. So the day I started this, I am now finished with the portion that I did. These are things down here that I have to figure out what I'm doing with and the pictures I will take and put them in the spot that I have designated now in my home for pictures. And I've got some things up on the bed. Um, I'm gonna be keeping the backpack and the purses and these shoes and socks. These items right here are all gonna be going to donate. And these nicely folded t-shirts are gonna be going in my empty drawer. All right, it's two days later and I am back at it to declutter some more. And I'm excited and I'm feeling a little bit energized to get this done the first day. I was really, really dreading it, but now I'm feeling a little energized to just get it done. I've got this big bulky shoe holder in my closet and I hate it. I hate it. It takes up so much room, so I'm going to be pulling it out, but I would love your suggestions. I found this shoe organizer on Amazon and I am in love with it. For the organizational type that I am, this is so visually appealing to me because it holds the shoes, but you can hide them, but they're still organized. I hate this one because it's so big and bulky. I can see everything, even though it's in my closet. And to be honest, I really don't need this big of a shoe organizer in my closet. I only keep the shoes in my bedroom that I just don't wear very often, like nicer dress shoes. And so I probably only need room for like six pairs. I might just buy a behind the door organizer and put it like behind my door in my bedroom. But I would love your feedback. What do you use? Obviously we use something different in the main part of our house with my shoes that I wear every single day. I'm not gonna bring those upstairs and put them in my bedroom. <laughs> and I'm a pretty basic gal. Like I literally have 
one to two pairs of shoes that I wear most every single day. Now the organizer that I did find on Amazon, that obviously would not go in my bedroom. It is too big. It would go in a different part of my house. But I didn't order it because it's almost $400 and it gives you an option to hire somebody to assemble it for you, which lets me know that it's probably not super easy to assemble. But I love the concept of it, that it just kind of looks like a bench, but you open it up and it's got the three tiers of shoes. But I'm definitely moving this one out of my closet and I haven't moved it in a long time, so OMG. Can you see the dust? Of course you can see the dust. But can you see how white my carpet used to be? Oh my gosh. We need new carpet all throughout the house and that is definitely a project that will happen in 2022. But for right now, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm just taking a Kleenex and getting all the dust up first before I vacuum. And I personally would never pick white carpet. Oh, it's so dusty. Um, but the carpet was here when we bought the house. The lady that lived here was a single lady. She did have a dog, um, but she didn't have multiple animals like me and children and white carpet and animals and children do not mix well together. And although I do love hardwood floors in certain rooms of my home, I definitely prefer carpet in most of the rooms, especially for the bedrooms, the family room, the living room. So I will be recarpeting these rooms in 2022 and I'm so excited about it. All right, I'm going through my shoes now and figuring out what I'm keeping and what I'm donating. I wore these to Grayson's wedding and it like peeled the finish off of the shoes. I didn't wear them on the wedding day. I wore them to the welcome party on Friday night. And I found like five shoes that don't have a match to them. Oh my goodness. Look at how dusty this thing is. I'm gonna clean it out and figure out if I'm gonna get rid of this or if I'm gonna move this to another part of my home, if it could be better used somewhere else. I don't necessarily love what we have downstairs, but Anyways, so these are the four pair that I am keeping. That's why I don't need this big bulky shoe organizer. I do have a couple more that are in the boxes still in my closet, but I'm gonna put the rest of them that had matches in my donate bag. All right, now I'm gonna go through all of the clothes that I pulled out so that I could pull out the shoe organizer and figure out, figure out what I'm keeping and what I am donating and organize these. And I will tell you, I am absolutely loving decluttering my home because it is teaching me so much. And one thing that I have definitely learned is decluttering comes in stages and I am absolutely in stage one right now. And what I mean by that is I'm figuring out the basic things that I want to get rid of and sometimes there are times that I come back and I'm like, you know what? I decluttered that a few weeks ago and I, I decided to keep this item, but I really don't want this item anymore. And I think that that's probably very normal. Some of you had commented on my bedroom declutter that I did two weeks ago now that I should get rid of my um, dresser because I have enough room to fit my clothes in other spots in my bedroom. I am not at that stage right now of even considering getting rid of furniture um, unless it just absolutely doesn't make sense and I haven't been using it, but I'm not at that stage yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the basic clutter out of my house and make it tidy. Oh my gosh, I found jewelry boxes that I put up here. Holy crap, I thought I decluttered all the jewelry. Look at all these. <laughs> <laughs> and more dusty shelves, but we're going to get them cleaned off.
and these are the clothes that I am not going to keep. So I have my donation bag here that is almost all the way full now. And now I'm gonna start putting some of the clothes that I am keeping back in my dressers. And I'm gonna start with some dresses and put those over here because they're kind of long. And so I'll put them towards the back. I did go through all my hangers and I got rid of all my wire hangers. I just don't want those, but I'm not super particular about the color of hanger or anything, but I thought this was super interesting. I shared a little bit about my weight loss journey in the last video, and it's funny to see all these hangers with the progression. I have two X in here. I have large, I have smalls. Oh my gosh, when I started fitting into a size small shirt, that was an incredible win for me. Unfortunately, not in a small any longer, <laughs> but I did it once. I'll do it again. All right, let's go through this jewelry. Oh, they're empty boxes. Oh my gosh, empty, more ding, empty boxes. Why do I hold on to empty boxes? Well, I know why, because they're in good shape and I think, oh, I might want to use them again. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, will I need these for anything? <laughs> so you know what? We are gonna take these right downstairs right now and I'm gonna throw them right into the recycling bin because this is why I end up with so much clutter because I keep all of the stuff that I think I may need later. Progress, not perfection. That was a big win for me to get rid of those boxes. I have these shoes. I think my girls bought these for me for Christmas and I've never worn them. I think they're pretty cute. I think I might keep them. I have a tendency to hold on to things. I think it's a mindset issue where I'm afraid because of all the years of financial struggle that we've had that I'm afraid I won't be able to afford a new pair of shoes so I need to hold on to them just in case I can't afford them, then I'll have them. It's this whole mind thing that I work on daily. I always speed my videos up so they're not like, you know, two hours long, but I thought I would just show you a real, real time clip of how slow of a process it is. I mean, really it's not that slow, but I bought these ding coach boots for myself like three years ago and I have never worn them because my calves are so big they won't fit. Oh my gosh, and I'm holding on to them. I think I'm gonna see if Grayson might want them because I don't think they're ever gonna fit my calves. If you have made it this far in the video, I appreciate you so, so much for sticking around and watching the entire thing. I wanna announce a gift card giveaway. I'm so dang excited. We hit 4,000 subscribers on the channel, OMG. So all you have to do to enter into the giveaway is you have to be a current subscriber. You got to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Christmas movie? Well, I'm in complete and utter shock right now. This is a coach um, from one of my coach purchase, like a um, dust bag to keep it in. Apparently I must've just dumped my whole person here when I wanted to clean it out or I was switching purses or something, it has like bills in here from 13 years ago. Oh my gosh. So I gotta go through this whole bag and clean it out. I found this wallet. It's got a whole bunch of coins in here. Hoping maybe, maybe it's got some money in here too. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not find any cash in here other than the coins. So I put them where our coins go and I'm just gonna donate the wallet. So as far as Christmas movies go, 
We love Chevy Chase's Christmas Vacation. We watch that every year. Uh, we also love Elf. But if you have younger kids, even my girls at 13 and 11, um, there is this, I don't even know how you'd find it. You'd have to Google it. But there's these little 30-minute shows that came out a few years ago called Prep and Landing. Oh my gosh, they are so dang cute. We've recorded them on our TVR, so we watch them every year. And the girls and I just realized there was an episode release that we didn't realize was released. So I got to find that episode now. Holy crap, you are not going to believe this. What you doing in here? What's going on? <laughs> What's all, what are all these clothes here for? Are you cleaning out your closet? Oh, yeah, that's my mess. Oh. That's one of our nice suitcases. I got in there. Why would I have clothes in there? Well, let's open it up and find out. Wait, wait. So you think I decluttered my closet? No, 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 no. I mean, a while ago. No. No. In this one? What? There are three suitcases in this. Yeah. Well, because they all fit inside each other. Right. In these are, what is this from? Oh my. No, we didn't go anywhere last year. Oh my gosh, a suitcase in my husband's closet that is full of clothes. Oh my gosh, well he just went downstairs. Let's take a look at what he's doing over here. I can't believe it. Oh look, oh wow, he got everything all. And he got everything off his floor. Of course, he hasn't vacuumed or anything, but I can't believe he's decluttering, you guys. OMG. Well, I'm pretty dang impressed he decided to declutter his closet. So he moved all of his hats up there and organized his clothes and solved my issue with the bulky shoebox that I did not want in my closet. He decided he wanted it in his closet. So he left my shoes in there, put some of his shoes in there and his ties. If he wants it in his closet, I am totally fine with it. I start decluttering, then Donna Jean declutters her craft station. Now my husband declutters his closet. What kind of trickery is happening here? This is a full bag of donations that I'll be taking of that I decluttered from the bedroom. And my husband created a whole bag as well full of his clothes. He must have cleaned out his dresser drawers. I haven't even looked. All right, I am all finished with my closet. Let's take a look at what it looked like before. Thank you again so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you so much. My closet had absolutely no, no organization at all in it and a bunch of empty boxes and things. So I'm super excited to show you my new organized closet and then show you my new painted master bedroom and master bathroom. All right, here it is, my freshly organized closet. I've got dresses up on the big hanger racks, sweaters and sweatshirts down there, dressier shirts, and you will see some t-shirts. I'll explain that in a second. Up here, I have a whole um, empty shelf. I am so, so excited. I've got everything off of my floor. It just looks so much better. And I took advantage of this, these, I have this little hook in my closet. So I hung my purses up here and this beach bag. I've got this one empty shelf and just a backpack on the other shelf. And this shelf here is totally empty, which I love. And the floor behind all these clothes was totally filled. It is now empty. And the confusion continues with the way I'm folding my t-shirts and putting them in my dresser drawer. <laughs> so when my husband does laundry and puts it away, he's just been hanging my t-shirts up now. <laughs> but this is what my closet is looking like. Let's get to the room reveal. Let's start with the bathroom first. I just want to give you a sneak peek of what it looked like before I decluttered it. The wallpaper that I had up in this room 
and I'm going to show you what I decided to do for paint colors and how the bathroom is looking now. All right, let's take a look at my bathroom now that the wallpaper is off and um, I painted it. Oh, the camera is not picking up the color at all in here. I was hoping with the light that looks really white and it's not. <laughs> Can you see? I picked like a minty green color. I think maybe you can see it here. I don't know. Let me shut the shade and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, I think you can see it now, but the lighting still. Oh, this is this is a terrible bathroom. <laughs> Reveal. Maybe you can kind of see it if I show you up there. But it's this beautiful, it's called Italian Ice. I'll take a picture of it and I'll pop the picture up on the screen, but that's what I went with. All of the trim is now white and we got new, cause these were all wallpapered. So we got new switches and um, outlet covers and plug covers and all of that good stuff. Took down the toilet paper holder that was like cemented into the wall and I just got this. I had her patch that up and all of that good stuff. But here is the best part. Let me turn on the light in here. Here's the best part of the whole dang closet, the bathroom redo. If you caught my declutter of the bathroom, then you know one of the points of contention I had was that I couldn't open my closet door in my bathroom all of the way because... Uh, it hit the door. Well, you know why it hit the door? There was a big towel rack up there. 10 years of living here. I never realized that was the problem. The painter took that down, patched the door up and painted it. And now look at, so we put these towel racks up here on this closet because we don't wash our towels every day. We use them a couple of times. Look at, look at, my closet door opens all the dang way so I can see my whole closet. I freaking love it. These are seriously the best thing that I ever invested in so far for decluttering. My husband has his up here. I have mine here. The closet, I don't even remember when I did it. It's got to be three weeks ago now. It still looks fantastic. Um, funny thing, the painter... She When she took down this door, she said, hey, can you come up here and look at this? And I said, sure. So I came up and she goes, do you want to just leave this door off altogether and just have your closet open? And I was like, no, that would drive me crazy. Even though this is all nice and organized, I don't want to see this. It looks so much better to me with the door shut. I don't love the towels being here, but they need to go somewhere. So there you go. We're the only ones that use this bathroom. So here's my bathroom. Let's move on. I wonder, can, yeah, you can see it now a little bit that I turned the light on. It still looks gray, but it's this beautiful mint green color that I absolutely adore. So you can kind of see it. Anyways, let's move on to the bedroom. Okay, sneak peek. This was my bedroom before I decluttered it. And what you're focusing on here is I had all this blue wallpaper up on the bedroom walls. All of the trim was like an almond color. The closet doors were an almond color. Let's take a look at my new painted bedroom. All right, here is the new painted bedroom with the blue paper, blue wallpaper gone. And um, now all white trim. I love it. I decided to do two different colors in here. So I went with that beautiful mint Italian ice color on this wall and on this wall. I think you can see it here. Um, and then on this wall and the other wall facing the opposite way, it's called cloud cover. So it's like a, a white but a little bit darker than white. You can see the contrast between 
the trim. That lighting is not very good. Anyways, that's what I decided to do. I absolutely love darker colors and my husband really loves gray, but I am very um, conscious that colors evoke emotion. And for me, gray makes me feel blah. It does not make me feel good. And especially in a place like my bedroom, I wanted a color that was bright and cheery that made me happy. And so that's why I went with the, I definitely wanted to do the Italian ice, but I didn't think I wanted to paint my whole bedroom. I probably would have loved it if my whole bedroom was painted this color. And my husband likes it too, don't get me wrong. And I think it looks so beautiful over here with the white closet doors now. I definitely plan on getting new hardware for the closet doors, but I just love that Italian ice color. And then, so we did this wall here and that wall here in Italian ice. And then this wall is the cloud cover. And this wall is the cloud cover. And you can see the painter painted the back of my door, but she wanted to leave the front of the door that matches the hall closet. You can see the difference, like how yellowy this one looks versus the white. I so much prefer the white. So um, I think my next project is gonna be getting the wallpaper down in my hall upstairs, and then that will be painted the white. But I love, love the way that it turned out. My bedroom's all nice. Oh, look, you can see the pretty green now in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> it's all beautiful now. I love it so, so much. It just makes me happy and it feels good. And we took the suitcase that my husband was using as his nightstand uh, on our trip to Florida and it broke. <laughs> My husband got a new nightstand. It's a new suitcase. Some of y'all were outraged that he was using the suitcase as his nightstand. Even though I said in that video that once we got the bedroom done, I would make sure he had a nightstand. He's never complained about it. But I will definitely get a nightstand. I just wanted to figure out what I want to do with my furniture. I talked about that a little bit before with painting. And I found this beautiful white bedding set from Kohl's that I want to get that I think will look really pretty. Definitely going to change this comforter out. Um, but it was like $300 and I only had a 15% off if I used my Kohl's charge card. So I'm waiting for the 30% off to get the bedding set. There you go. This is it. It's not perfect, but it looks so much better. It makes me happy. I love the green. It's all nice and decluttered, but it's not perfect because real people live here. I mean, the laundry is full right now. <laughs> I have to put that in the laundry. So there you go. This was my closet to declutter and the reveal of my new bedroom and bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you so much again. Thank you for stopping by. If you celebrate Christmas, a Merry Christmas to you, or if you're watching this after Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And if you don't celebrate, I just hope you have a fantastic day. I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye!